It is less than 10 days to go until the moment that we've all been waiting for when we can head back into the amazing theme park entrances and see the park reopen for the 2020 season. But before that all happens, there's a few questions that I know I have and probably you guys have been wondering about how it is all going to work. So join me today, Tom Derrick, as I go all through as many details as I can about the phased reopening and so, so much more. As we start off by looking at the first phase for stuff like Orton Towers, Warwick Castle and Chesington, then we go on to what's going to happen on the 4th of July, and then finally, when it is all going to go back to normal. However, before we do get started, please remember that if you do enjoy this video, to smash that subscribe button, give us a like and comment down below, as we would love to hear your reviews on what you feel like it's going to be when they reopen, as well as definitely click that bell as on the 4th of July when they do open we'll be down there filming videos for you guys and loading them on the exact same day. However with no further ado let's get on to the video. Okay to start off with we're going to talk about the phase one of the reopening of the theme parks and this includes Alton Towers, Warwick Castle and Chesington. So after the government said that they are allowed to open gardens and zoos, Chesington, Warwick Castle and Portsmouth and Towers decided to allow guests into their parks to explore the grounds, not the rides. So of course we went down to two of them which includes Warwick Castle and Chesington to see what it is like. And Warwick Castle, shall I say, is really really good. This opened like a few weeks before Chesington, we only went in, they were so efficient, they only let a limited number of people into the parks. And the way you book the tickets is by going online. If you're a Merlin pass holder, it will cost you £1 to make sure that you definitely come because the last thing that we want is for like, people to book tickets and then not turn up. Once you get in, really efficient, they literally check your temperature of a machine like a barcode machine. And then once you get into the park, you of course have to use social distancing. They've got marks on the floor. And I love the theming as well. Chenton and Warwick Castle have done great theming for markers. Chesington's done a tiger print and Warwick Castle's done like swords and stuff which is really clever to make it a bit more immersive with the characters and then once you get into the park you explore around and it's a bit plain if I'm being honest there's not much to do but I didn't expect there to be a lot general just grateful the parks are starting to reopen and then afterwards we headed down to Chesington World of Adventures and over there it was pretty much the same as Walt Castle you could explore the ground which is much better because I prefer Chesington's grounds and Walt Castle's you got to see all the animals which is really nice as well as get to see what Chesington's like there. And in my opinion personally, I believe that Chesington did a much better job at making sure that you guys stay safe than what cast. But no word of a lie, they are both amazing. And if you are considering whether to go or not because of how well they can keep you safe over there, just go because trust me, you will not regret it. And they are way better than pretty much anywhere I have seen before. So with that in mind, let's go and move on to the 4th of July when all the theme parks are gonna reopen. And for starters, I've got to say, I miss Fort Park so, 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 so much. It's been like six months now since we've last been to Fort Park. And honestly, it's hit like mental. Me and Hugo are saying we we're probably going to cry when going over the bridge to Fort Park. And you're going to see that emotion on our dog as we do head over there when it does come out over on the 4th of July. So make sure to stay tuned to that as you will not want to miss it. But when they do reopen over on there, we haven't got the full details yet of what rides are going to be open and closed. We have actually, though, for Legland, as most of the indoor rides will be closed at most theme parks. So for park, there's not much to worry about. Maybe stuff like dodgems, maybe, because that's really hard to keep your distance on that. Spinning teacups, and so that will be closed, as well as possibly storm surge, as it's busy as it is, but imagine having to have like one car per group of people. I think that would be closed. But rides like Swarm, Saw, Stealth, and all those roller coasters that we all love will hopefully still remain open when they do open. Places like Chesington, I think the same, and well as Legoland. I think that there's not going to be loads closed, otherwise they'll just close the park as they won't be making much of an income. But when they do reopen, at the moment, what I understand is that you'll be booking tickets online. If you have not got any annual pass or Merlin pass, you will have to, of course, buy the tickets. I think they've got a bit more discount on if there is more stuff closed. But if you are Merlin pass, if you want to reserve a spot, you have to pay a pound. You don't have to have, don't have to pay a pound but you only have to pay if you want a reserve spot. But I definitely recommend it, especially for your first visit or if you live a long way away. So for example, we live around 20 minutes away from Legoland. So if we go after school or something, we won't reserve a spot. But for when we go for the opening of those sort of places, we'll definitely pay one pound as it's not too much. And Merlin has been so good with your Merlin passes by giving you an extra five months on top of what you've got already, which is, we've only been off for like three months from the theme park. So I think that's amazing for them to do and much better than most companies have done as well. So you have to pre-book a ticket. Once you get towards the park, 
I predict there will be massive queues getting into the place itself as they're going to have to do temperature checks. She hasn't done a great system actually of checking you as you went into the park, which is pretty amazing because like with water cars when you were going to give your tickets and stuff, they checked you. But in Chesington you did like a much more like you went through one stage of any other stage and you got given a band to show that your temperature has been checked. So obviously if you walked in, you'd need to get a band obviously first because they do check you on the entrance, which is another great system that we do. But if they did that, the chances are they'd be in a much longer car queue, but I'd rather be in a car queue than have to wait in that long security line, then go into the temperature checks and then the ticket. So that just be so much waiting and it'd be much better they stagger it. So you like you get out of your car and it's a lot, lot more well comfortable for you guys. Because you don't want to be waiting in a long queue if they're gonna do social distancing, because it'd probably go around the whole of a car park for most theme parks. So then once you get in, obviously you go towards the rides. Food outlets, I don't know exactly how many be open, but I'm pretty sure a place like Chesington, they've opened a few. Indoor catering, probably not. The chances are that they're actually going to keep most of it outdoors. If, of course, if it's raining, they might open up some indoor places, but spread out the tables. I've seen many pictures of many theme parks spreading out the tables, which I think is another really good idea, because even though they are open, the distance still applies at the moment over towards the theme parks, as well as around the whole of the UK. So keeping two meters is so important and even if you don't feel that comfortable in it, I definitely, definitely, definitely don't need to wear a face mask. They haven't stated that you do, but just try to be respectful with all the other people as some people are nervous about it. And if you are nervous about it, maybe don't go to the theme parks as there normally are a lot of people going to places like that and it may not be best to go. But if you are someone who's not so worried, just keep your distance. There's no harm in doing that. The Merlin Parks are really doing really well trying to keep you to do that. So just follow what they say and then everyone will have a really magical day over at all the parks around the UK. So then once you get into the queue lines, let's go on the road we're going to ride now. I'm so excited at the moment, I'm going to say that in real life. But once you get onto the ride, the queue lines will look really long because there's two meter distancing. You have to stand in your group of people, but of course two meters away from the other people. And they're going to stagger it quite massively because if it's like a a cattle pen queue which we all hate that can be really hard to control that because like you, it's not just forward or backwards you've also got to stand like side to side and I think that's one of the reasons why stuff like a haunted house is closed over at Legoland Winter for the 2020 season so that's the queue line when you got on the ride of course can be spread it out like all the other ones and then for shows as well spreading out most of it is just mainly spreading out throughout your day and I think honestly People say it's going to be longer queues, but I think if they're going to let in, I think it's like one quarter of the capacity they can normally let in maximum. I think it might even be quieter, if I'm being honest with you, because it's not like they're going to be losing loads and loads of rows. They might be losing like one row, but if they let in the path, then it'd be the same queue. So a quarter, it should theoretically be half a queue, but it should normally be. So that sounds pretty good. I don't know about you guys, but it could be quite fun to do that. And then to food outlets, as I said earlier, it's going to be open, and then finally, when you leave at the end of the day, I think it needs to swerve massively because obviously, there's normally lots of people, especially stuff like Fort Park, leaving over the bridge. They might have to control the amount of people that go over that bridge. I really don't know at the moment, though. They haven't said it's a lot, so hopefully, in the next few days coming out. And I have been with actually on the Sunday, the uh, 21st of June. So, if there's stuff out between then, I will not have this covered in this video. But yeah, when they do hopefully leave, they're going to be able to control that as well before we exit. And personally, I don't know about you guys, but I am so excited for the parks to reopen. But we're getting back to normal, I think will be very different, as it's going to be a long time. Like, the government are slowly easing it back in, schools have started to reopen now, and I think it, one day it will get back to better. Don't get me wrong, I think they're going to start letting people in, but I think this social distance and stuff will be on for quite a while. But as long as Merlin can control it, keep us all safe, I see no harm on letting the theme park stay open for a long, long, longer. And I'm one person who supports getting this economy back, getting everyone back to normal in the real life, as long as, of course, we do all stay safe. But thank you for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this information video of what it's going to be like when the theme parks do reopen. If you have enjoyed, like I said earlier, don't forget to subscribe, as there's way more videos like this. And this is actually one of my first talking videos. That's for my birthday, which is actually yesterday. I got a brand new mic, so I hope you can hear much better improvement in the quality of the video right now and if you do comment that down below because i want to make many more stuff like top tens reviews and so much more as we're so near to a thousand subs now honestly we're only like at the moment of recording we're only 90 away so once we get a thousand subs there's gonna be so much coming to the channel including the new merch range so that's a little sneak peek for you guys i'm not going to show you what it is but you gotta get to thousand subs beforehand and then you can get your hands on some of this awesome merch but my name is tom Dak from theme podcasting and i have hope you've enjoyed the video 
and see you guys later when the theme parks reopen. Goodbye.